One of the most peculiar things to come out of the American Civil War is the uniform that I'm wearing right now. And I get this question a lot. Just what are you wearing? Well, the uniform I'm wearing right now is that of the 146 New York Infantry. And they were a type of unit known as Zouaves. Zouaves were soldiers from French North Africa. They were classified as light infantry and they fought for the French army in the early 19th century. And one very hard thing for people now to look back upon is the French army was the elite army of the 19th century, and other nations' militaries tried to emulate that. The end result being units like Zouaves being raised for the American Civil War within the United States. Now, Zouaves started out just before the American Civil War within North America, and primarily they were drill teams. They went around the country and they were entertainment for the local citizens. They were using the famous bayonet drill that the French Zouaves were known for, and they started what's known as Zouave fever or Zouave craze throughout North America. They primarily toured throughout what would become the Union States in the American Civil War, and as such, almost all of the Zouave units that fought in the American Civil War would fight for the Union. There are a few exceptions to that, however, primarily in the one certainly French area of the United States, Louisiana. The Louisiana Tigers under Major Robodeau Wheat are going to fight in the early battles of the Civil War, but are going to fade away as they take heavy casualties and are unable to replace their uniforms. Famous Zouave regiments that fight in other battles include the 5th New York, Durier Zouave, which come out of New York City. They're going to be almost annihilated at Second Bull Run. Some of those men will transfer into the 146th New York Infantry, of whose uniform I'm currently wearing. They will fight here at the Battle of the Wilderness in Saunders Field, while they're charged across the field behind me into these woods and desperately try to break through the Confederate lines. Ultimately, though, they'll be almost completely surrounded and have to pull back. There's going to be a wide array of Zouave uniforms. Not every single one is going to be identical. Each regiment and sometimes even companies have different uniforms that are very distinctive for that particular unit. The 5th New York had bright red pantaloons with red fezes with yellow tassels, dark blue coats with red trim. The 146th New York, the uniform that I'm again currently wearing, was more in the style of the Turcos or native soldiers who fought in the North African army. They would have been wearing the sky blue that a lot of Union soldiers wore as their trousers, but as a complete uniform with red sashes covered with yellow and with the red fezes. One item that I'm not currently wearing is the turban. The turban would have been wrapped around your head to give you a little bit of more protection from the sun. However, Civil War soldiers primarily only use them for dress parade or as tourniquets on the battlefield. This is a very, very hard uniform to get used to wearing. However, the soldiers who wore it tended to be very much in favor of wearing it versus the standard uniform of the Union Army. There's two main reasons for that. First off, in the summer when it's very hot, this uniform was designed to be worn in North Africa. It is very, very much more comfortable than the basic Union uniform. The second thing, Myself being a 22-year-old, I can understand why the other young men in the Civil War would want to wear this. This is very flashy, and it gets the attention of the girls back home. A lot of people would think that the Zouave uniform was an early war craze that died out. However, you still see Zouave units fighting throughout the war. The 146 New York started as normal federal infantry with your dark blue coats, but they changed over to Zouaves based on how good they were at drill as well as their actions in battle. And many units would change over to Zouave uniforms based on their performance in the war. In fact, the last casualty of the Army of the Potomac at Appomattox Courthouse would be a young Zouave serving in the 155th Pennsylvania Infantry. The Zouave style would not die out with the end of the American Civil War. It would continue on all the way up through World War I, where French units were wearing it in the Western Front facing modern machine guns. If you visit a Civil War battlefield or museum today, you might come across one of the very fancy Zouave uniforms that were worn back in the day. Keep in mind that while this may appear silly to us in the 21st century, in the 1860s, these men were elite soldiers who thought of themselves very highly in their very nice, very delicate uniforms.